It is now emerging that the pilot of the ill-fated Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 requested to turn back immediately after takeoff, but crashed before making the move. Well, air accident investigators have begun sifting through the fuselage of the plane to determine what could have brought it down. Hassan Mugambi reports on the emerging clues and what the probe will be seeking to find. 25A. Hours after the crash in Bishoftu, some 60 kilometers southeast of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the remains of the plane, flight ET302, that should have arrived in Nairobi at 10.25 a.m. Instead, a piece here, a shoe there, the chilling reminder of who and what was on board. Nearby, a huge crater made by the plane that had taken off at 8.38 a.m and came down crashing just six minutes after leaving the Bole International Airport in Addis Ababa. On board, 149 passengers and eight crew members. Ethiopian officials now say the plane's pilot, identified as Captain Yared Mulugeta, with both Kenyan and Ethiopian routes, had called the control tower requesting to return to the airport just moments after takeoff, citing a technical hitch. He was cleared to turn back. But soon after, the plane went missing on the radar, raising alarm bells in Ethiopia. For a plane to land shortly after takeoff, the pilot has to flood fuel as the weight during takeoff cannot support landing. It is not clear if the pilot tried to this. At 10.50 a.m., the office of the Prime Minister of Ethiopia put out a tweet, the first official communication to the tragedy. The chilling tweet made it clear that it was not good news. It read, and I quote, The Office of the Prime Minister on behalf of the government and the people of Ethiopia would like to express its deepest condolences to the families of those that have lost their loved ones on Ethiopian airline Boeing 737 on regular scheduled flight to Nairobi, Kenya this morning. The Kenyan government has now dispatched a team of aircraft investigators to Addis to help the probe. I'll be dispatching my principal secretary for transport there's a coimet together with the director of air transport, uh, Nicholas Bondo. So they'll be arriving this evening so that we can coordinate um, these issues um, seamlessly together with our colleagues in Ethiopia. Earlier in the day, the United States Transport Agency also announced that it was sending a team of four experts to boost that effort. The aircraft Boeing 737 MAX 8 had only been brought into the Ethiopian Airlines fleet less than four months ago. In October 2018, a similar plane belonging to Lions Air crashed outside Jakarta, Indonesia, just after takeoff. Investigators will be trying to find out if this was a coincidence or something to do with this particular type of plane, Boeing 737 MAX 8. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.